It's been about two and a half or three weeks since I first planted the seeds and everything has germinated and sprouted and is about a half an inch to an inch tall now. And as you can see, the Virginia seeds that I purchased online and planted did not do nearly as well as the Havana and Black Sea Samson that I had saved myself from plants that I grew a couple of years ago. So I'll definitely be saving the seeds from the strongest Virginia plant that I grow this year. And now it's time to thin the plants out because as you can see, there are way too many plants growing in each cell. And I'll show you how to do that. The easiest way I found to do this is to use a pair of tweezers and just pluck the plants out from the outer edges of the cell and the idea is to only leave two to three of the strongest plants closest to the center in each cell. You have to be pretty patient when you're doing this because it can take quite a while depending on how many uh, cells you planted and how much overgrowth you have in each cell uh, but you also need to be very careful too because at this stage the the plants are extremely delicate and it's very easy to to dislodge one and accidentally pull it out that you weren't really intending to pull out so just be patient and take your time and make sure not to disturb the roots of the plants that you intend to keep once you're finished, you should be left with just two or three plants per cell and relatively close to the center of each cell. And in about another two to three weeks, you'll do your final thinning and leave just one plant per cell, your strongest plant. So until then, just make sure you provide plenty of sunlight and are making sure you keep the dirt moist but not overly saturated. And in about two to three weeks, you'll be ready to do your final thinning.